students of class 5, welcome back to English Literature class. Today we will be doing lesson 3, the art and a mother. Okay, you can turn with me to page 23. This book, this story is taken from The Magic World, written by Edith Nesbitt. Before we go into the story, let us see the character of the story, okay? A mother. A mother is the main character of the story. Then a mother's aunt. Then porter. Porter is the person whose job is to carry luggage and other things. Then we have Mayur. Mayur is the person who is elected as the head of the town or a city. Then we have the crowd. Okay? A mother. A mother, the main character. Okay? A mother is a little girl who is visiting her aunt. In the story, we find that a mother is in her aunt's place. So, she wants to please her aunt. And in order to make her aunt happy, she plucked flowers from the greenhouse. Okay? Greenhouse means uh, a glass house where plants are grown and kept protected. Okay? So, she plucks flowers from the greenhouse and uh, she... Uh, place it, she stick it into the ground in front of her aunt's window so that when her aunt sees the flower she will feel happy but when her aunt sees the flower she was not happy at all instead she was very upset and did not talk to Amabel anymore okay so Amabel did not know what to do she was left alone in her aunt's bedroom Okay? Then she looked around for something to read. She did not find anything to read. But at last she found one big book with red velvet, covered with red velvet and on it it's written ABC with yellow silk. Okay? You can see here in the picture this is little Amabel and this is her aunt's uh, dressing table and on top of it the book the red velvet book okay you can see here in the picture you can see from your book so a mother think that this is it must be an alphabet book so she thought that i'm very old i'm too old for alphabet okay but she still done the pages she still uh, opened the book and when she opened the book she found that it's not an alphabet book, but it's a timetable. Okay. Then she find different names, names of different places. And from the different names of the places, she knew only three places. Okay. And they are Brighton. Then Rugby. Understand all these are the 
names of the railway station. Understand? And when she reads, you have went to go now. What did Amabel do? Straight away, she went to big wardrobe. There is one big wardrobe in her aunt's place, in one of her aunt's room. Okay? She went there and she turned the handle of the big wardrobe, opened it and entered in the enter uh, inside the big wardrobe. And what did she found there? She found a crystal cave, very old in shape like a railway station. Okay? And when she was standing there, a porter came. A porter came, hurried towards her and took her luggage. And what was her luggage? Her luggage was that ABC book, that red velvet ABC book. Understand? Here you can see here in the picture, little a mother standing with the porter. Porter is carrying the luggage of uh, a mother and the luggage is that ABC book. And you can see here, uh, a crystal cave which look like a railway station. Okay. Now Amabel went inside the train. Okay, she went inside the train and she found that the train was made entirely of crystal and the cushions of white satin. Okay, and she found she also found three small button okay three small button on the inside the tray and on them it's written what do you want to eat what do you want to drink what do you want to read understand a mother without pressing one by one she pressed the button all at once like this understand when she pressed all the buttons at once what happened beside her Beside her, on the cushion, on a silver tray, she found vanilla ice, boiled chicken and white sauce, almonds, peppermint cream, and mashed potato, and a tall glass of lemonade. And beside the tray was a bowl. Understand? So, and just as Amabel finished the last spoonful of ice and reached the last full stop of the book, the train stopped and hundreds of railway officials in white velvet shouted, Where you want to go? Get off here. Okay? Where you want to go is the name of the railway station where the train stopped. Understand? And a smiling porter opened the door for Amabel and said, Miss Amabel, come out now unless you want to go to where you don't want to go to. Where you don't want to go to is also the name of a railway station. If you go further from where you want to go to, you will get there in where you don't want to go to. Understand? So these two are the name of the railway station. So the train stop in the station where you want to go to. Understand? So she hurried out onto the platform and she saw ahead a crowd. She saw a crowd ahead of her. Then she asked the mayor, what's all that? Okay, she asked the porter, what's that? What's all that? A friendly porter replied, it's the mayor. Okay, so the mayor came forward to Amabel. The mayor bowed low to her and said, welcome dear Amabel. We know you meant to please your aunt. It's not your fault that you didn't know you should ask permission before you touch other people's things. Understand? This is what the Bible told to uh, Amabel. Then Amabel tried to reply, okay? But before she replied, a band started to play and drawn her words. She could not reply the Mayur, okay? Then there was a flower show, a concert, a grand dinner with thousands of guests in Amabel's order. And the crowd are shouting speech, speech, speech. They want to hear speech from Amabel, okay? So Amabel stood up and began her speech. She said, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to make any speech, but I just want to say thank you. And to say, to say, she could not continue more, okay? And the crowd cheered up, okay? And they say, shouted again, to say, to say, to say, they want to hear more what uh, Amabel wants to say. So 
When the crowd cheer up dies down, Amabel begins her words and begins her speech again. That I should have thought, but I did want to please Auntie. It's all so mixed. Oh, I wish Auntie was here. Okay, here Amabel say that I should have thought before plucking the flowers, but I mean to please my Auntie. So that that's why I plucked the flowers. I wish Auntie was here. And then just then auntie appeared in front of her okay with a beautiful dress and auntie was very tall and quite good looking understand and the crowd cheered up for auntie and they shouted again speech 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 from auntie they want to hear speech from auntie so auntie stood beside amabel and said i think perhaps i was hasty and i think amabel meant to please me but those flowers were meant for the winter. Well, I was annoyed. I am sorry. From the from auntie's speech, we come to know that uh, why auntie was angry when Amabel plucked the flowers. Why auntie was upset when Amabel plucked the flowers? Because auntie kept that flowers for the winter. But unknowingly, Amabel plucked the flowers to make her auntie happy. Now, auntie also came to know that Amabel plucked the flowers in order to please her. So, both of them say sorry to each other and they hug each other. Here in the uh, picture, you can see both auntie and Amabel hug each other. Understand? Then, and when it grew late and the stars were out, Amabel fell asleep. Okay? Amabel fell asleep in her aunt's arms beside a mountain on a marble terrace. Understand? So after some time, Amabel woke up on a big bed with her aunt's arm still around her. Understand? And auntie wake her up. Amabel, Amabel. Okay. And Amabel sleepily said, I'm so sorry, but I did mean to please you. Okay, Amabel said, I'm sorry, Auntie, but I mean to please you. Then Auntie smiled and replied, I'm sure you meant to please me. Now come down to supper. Okay, so before going down for supper, Amabel looked around for the book, that red velvet book. That red velvet book is a magical book, but she did not find any more. It was nowhere to be found. Okay, that's the end of the story. Students, I hope you enjoyed the story. Please go through the story again and learn the word meaning given in the story. Okay, until then, take care.